Hi everyone, this is a technical analysis on gold. Let's start with a fundamental overview first. Gold is now down almost 6% from the US election day. That shouldn't be surprising as the last time we got a red sweep, gold dropped by more than 16%. The reason is that a red sweep brings a more expansionary fiscal policy and should be not only positive for growth, but also for inflation. In fact, the market now sees just 225 BPS rate cuts in 2025, which is already much less than the four projected by the Fed in September. In the bigger picture, gold remains in a bullish trend as real yields will likely continue to fall amid the Fed's easing cycle. But for now, the short term trend is to the downside due to the repricing in rate cuts expectations. Now, the day chart, we can see that gold is now trading near the key trend line around the uh, 2600 level. This is where the buyers are stepping in with a defined risk below the trend line to position for a rally into a new all time high. The sellers, on the other hand, will want to see the price breaking lower to increase the bearish pass into the next trend line around the 2400 level. On the 4 hour chart, we can see more clearly the strong support zone around the 2600 level, where we have the confluence of the previous swing low level and the trend line. We can see that we also have this downward trend line defining the current bearish momentum. If we get a pullback, the sellers will likely lean on it to position for the break below the major trend line, while the buyers will look for a break higher to increase the bullish bets into a new all time high. On the one hour chart, we can see that we have another minor downward trend line defining the bearish momentum on this time frame. More aggressive sellers uh, might lean on this uh, trend line to position for the break of the major trend line while the buyers will look for a break higher to target the pullback into this next downward trend line. These red lines define the average daily range for today. For the upcoming catalysts, today we have the US CPI report. Tomorrow we get the latest US jobless claims figures. And on Friday we conclude the week with the US retail sales data.